Hey guys, it's Hussein. In this video, we will learn how to build an image uploading service or a file upload service uh, using Python on the back end. Now, this video is part of many other videos that I have uploaded on my online course Python on the back end. If you're interested of to know the uh, the, the, the nitty gritty detail of Python. Uh, back in development check out the course I'm gonna leave it in the description below I'm gonna talk about because in this video I'm not gonna talk about how to set up all this Python or the requirement right uh, I'll just talk about the actual development or how to build the file uploading service using Python okay so quickly we, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need an editor Visual Studio Code is a great editor once you install it you'll be ready to code on Python you're gonna need tornado installed this is the Python uh, web server uh, library that you can host services again I talk in details of all about that in, in my Python course check it out if you're interested uh, all right uh, with that said we can jump into this video. Hey guys, in this video, we will learn how to build an image uploading service. All right, so you, you might have seen this, right? Uh, you, or you have a web page and you select a file from your device or disk or camera, and then you basically select that file and you upload it to a server. So what are we gonna do in this uh, lecture we will build the back end side using Python, the uploading, the part, the uploading of the image or the file. In this case, it will be just image, uploading, saving it to the disk at the back end, and then retrieving the content of the image uh, to the client. Let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and create a, a new folder with our project. We're gonna call it Python Image Service. All right, and uh, we'll just open that folder. As usual, we're gonna create an index.py file. This is our main file that we will start our Tornado application in. We're gonna select the interpreter 3.7 Python, and then we're also gonna create an index.html. Okay, this is this will be our front end, if you if you will, where the user will pick the file and. Uh, uh, select the file and upload it. it. It can even run, and uh, the beauty of this is it can even run on your mobile phone if you wanted to. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the index.py and let's start writing. Okay, the usual stuff: import tornado to web, uh, import tornado dot io loop. Okay, and then what we're gonna do first of all, okay. All these images or the files that we're gonna upload it is gonna go somewhere right I'm gonna create a folder here in my project I'm gonna call it image IMG okay and I literally will upload an image here I'll just drag one of the images that I have here I just call it test for simplicity so the first thing I want to do is I want to write this uh, main Python loop so that it retrieves whatever images is in this folder all right this is this <laughs> obviously it might sound straightforward but you have to write code to do that because uh, files and your server is secured and you have to explicitly give folder access to the client to request files all right so you can control that okay with that said let's get to it right the usual checking that we have to run this applic this particular code at least once right we're gonna create our application tornado.web.application give it a tuple right if someone visited the root I am going to uh, let's create a class called request upload handler okay and if someone visited slash image slash the regular expression dot star that means anything localhost 8080 slash image slash anything do I want you to serve that file that sa satisfies that 
uh, irregular expression. So that to do that, you do a tornado, the web, dot, there's something called static file handler. We never talked about this before, that, that's the first thing we talked about this. And uh, what we need to do is, you need to, that the third parameter, you need to specify the path all right, as this is just a dictionary, which looks like exactly like a JSON, right? And um, what do you want to serve is the image folder, okay? And that's it. Just like that, let's remove this for now, okay? We just need that, okay? And just like that, we have the handler ready, okay? So I want to serve test.jpg, right? So now let's do uh, the usual stuff, listen, on port 8080. Could be any port, really, guys. If you want to, uh, that must be integer and app dot uh, print listening on port eighty eighty, and then we will, we have to do is basically uh, start the loop, right? That will be tornado tornado dot io loop dot io loop dot instance instance. <laughs> Let's start. We just start the instance, right? So we keep then we want to start this instance only once, not every time this is called, right? And let's go ahead and start debugging. And we're waiting for this. Listening port 8080. We are ready, guys. So what we need to do is do it localhost 8080 slash image. And then if I do anything.jpg, obviously I'm gonna get an error, not found, because Literally, that file doesn't is not there. But if I do test.jpg, was it is that what it's called? It's called test.jpg. So let's do test.jpg. I'll be served the image. Okay. So that's the first part we want to do. We want to serve the actual images that we have on this folder. The next part is to upload images from the client. Let's do that part. Okay. To do that, we need. Obviously, guys, if I don't have this code, you will never serve these folders like that okay maybe iis if you use like microsoft iis it has that out of the box but python and other uh, languages don't okay so let's let's get started uh we're gonna do if i visited the root go ahead and call upload handler comma and then obviously it's a class upload handler uh obviously in inheriting from tornado.web.request handlers just another request handler if you call the git right which is just a visiting from the uh, browser for example i want you to render index.html and we're going to talk about what's in that in that thing right now okay but if you post something to me i'm expecting a file and to do files in and uh, if you posted right in the correct format, which we're going to discuss in the index.html, you will have access to .request .files, which is pretty cool. Okay, and when you, when you post something, you can post an array of files, but that element has a name. You can you can post multiple elements, and each like let's call them group you can post multiple groups and each group has a name and let's call this name i don't know something rememberable image file remember this name because we're going to use it in the index.html to post that thing okay and obviously just a simple loop for if and files i want to write the content of that file in uh, my image folder how do we write very simple we open a file handler we do an open that's a built-in function and guess what i want to open in the image folder slash okay we're going to use the f uh, handler here it's much easier and then we're going to take the f dot file name there is a method called this file is essentially it's a it's an object uh, the file name is the file that we received from the upload there is the body which is the content which we're going to use i want to open this file as write with binary because we don't know what we're going to receive it's not text could be anything right we just write as binary so second thing we do is we write that thing if the body and third thing close that thing and then once we're done i want to actually write back 
the URL. Now this is this not this is not a good idea, but it works. I'm gonna hard code this path for now just to show you that hey that I want you to return the f dot file name and this URL. Okay, and let's make it into a URL. How about that? Okay, so people can visit on that or yeah, let's do that. Okay, just like do that. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we open that and all right, we do that. It's not helping. All right. For simplicity, let's just return that. <laughs> okay, I don't want to complicate things now. All right, so well is not helping here okay so now we're, we're writing back this file okay this URL this text and we are done let's go back to the index.html and just build something HTML5 build that and I'm gonna build a form here and the form will have a method okay this is this is like one way to do it there are many ways to post a file but this is like the easiest way maybe we're gonna discuss this in many other videos or lectures okay so the first thing is you're posting right so you're gonna do a post this form do the, does a post and another thing is the action as the action is where are you posting this thing I'm gonna post it to the same location which is the slash remember that's the slash I'm posting to the slash okay and then I want to encode that's the most important thing this has to be a multi-part otherwise it doesn't work okay you do an ink type of multi-part data and I think that's all we need I don't, I don't recall we need anything else okay and then we need uh, obviously two things we need the file okay this is the browse button if you know it. this is just the default HTML Thing that you can do and then we can call it this is the most important thing what did we call that file group we called it we called it image file so you have to name it image file <laughs> okay and then you do accept this is optional but you can do like uh, hey I want only to upload a JPG or PNG or whatever right and the last thing we do is to do a submit button which submits this content to a post to to the action essentially you can do also the fetch api to post that as well and we might do that in another video okay and then we obviously have the last thing is upload and i think we are ready to rock and roll guys let's do it start okay uploading no errors so now if i do visit the slash I get this beautiful HTML page okay I will go ahead and upload something let's upload my picture why not okay upload and I get this back so if I do this look at that it actually worked right so if I go here test right what did we call it if I refresh this can I refresh this there you go I do not see my picture. Is this called tested JPG? How about that? We actually overwritten that. <laughs> let's let's just choose something else. How about that? Let's choose I don't know, my course, upload. That was fast, huh? We do that. My course works. Okay, and look at that. I immediately see that. What we did is like we overwritten something called tested JPG, right? We actually have that. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this lecture. Uh, this was a, just a bonus lecture to show you the power of Python to uh, what you can do with Python. You can obviously do the same thing with any language in the backend to receive and upload file. Keep in mind that this method there is a limit to the file you can upload. Okay, the, it, it, I think it's only one meg or less than that. Okay more than more than one meg or two meg then you have to start chopping off this file and do more code on the client side and the server actually to do batching essentially we might cover that in other videos as well all right guys see you in the next lecture